The Tale of the Naughty Little Rabbit In a snug little burrow beneath a tall fir tree, in the heart of the wood, lived a family of rabbits. There was Mrs. Rabbit and her three little daughters, Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail, and were all as good as gold. And then there was Peter. Here he is, look, one naughty little rabbit wearing his smart new coat. Today, Mrs. Rabbit had some shopping to do. You can play outside while I'm gone, she told her children. But remember, stay away from Mr. McGregor's garden. Mr. Rabbit had visited once, and he never came home. While Mrs. Rabbit was out, Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail busied themselves like good little bunnies picking wild berries for tea. But not Peter. He ran straight to Mr. McGregor's garden. Here he is, look. One naughty little rabbit squeezing himself under the gate. First, Peter ate some juicy fresh lettuces. Then he nibbled some spicy red radishes. Then he gobbled some crunchy green beans. Soon Peter's tummy began to feel a bit funny and he looked around for some parsley. But instead, he found Mr. McGregor. Peter turned and ran as fast as his little rabbit legs would carry him. But Mr. McGregor chased after him, waving a rake and shouting, Stop thief! Poor Peter was very frightened. In his panic, he couldn't remember the way back to the garden gate. He ran back and forth all over the garden, with Mr. McGregor close behind him. Here he is, look, one naughty little rabbit running for his life. As Peter dashed through the vegetable patch, one of his shoes came off, but Peter kept running. He lost his other shoe in the potatoes. Without his shoes, Peter ran even faster, straight into the net around the gooseberry bush. The big brass buttons of Peter's blue coat got tangled up, and suddenly Mr. McGregor peered over him. You wretched little rabbit, I love you for my dinner, growled Mr. McGregor. Peter wriggled and squirmed to get free, and just before Mr. McGregor could trap him, Peter escaped. Maybe I'll be safe in the tool shed, thought the scared little rabbit. The big green watering can seemed like the perfect hiding place until Peter discovered how much water there was inside. But Mr. McGregor had followed him into the tool shed and began turning flower pots one at a time, searching for Peter. All of a sudden, he heard a rabbity sneeze Achoo! from inside the watering can. Poor Peter was out of the can in a flash. He ran away as fast as his little rabbit legs would carry him. He found his way at last back to the garden gate. Finally, Peter was safe in the wood again, and he ran all the way home without stopping. Mr. McGregor found the two shoes and the new blue coat that Peter had left behind and made them into a scarecrow to frighten away the birds. Back in the snug burrow, Mrs. Rabbit was not at all pleased that Peter had lost his shoes and coat. That evening, Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail had a delicious feast of bread and milk and freshly picked blackberries. And Peter? Mrs. Rabbit had put him straight to bed without any supper, but only a spoonful of chamomile tea to settle his aching tummy. Here he is, look, one naughty little rabbit, feeling rather sorry for himself. Don't you feel sorry for him too? The End